Love Stephanie Mangano. I'm, I'm Tony Monero. We both got the same last initials. How do you like that? Now we get married, I don't have to change the monogram. My luggage, huh? If somebody told me you was practicing to be a bitch, is that true? <laughs> All right, Mr. Monero, what do you want to ask me? I would like to take you out to coffee. Would that be good? That's it, huh? You want me to have coffee with you? I think you're a very good dancer. You know that, um, that, uh, that 2001 Odyssey, they, they got a dance contest now. Mm -hmm. And I think that we could be a dynamite team together. How old are you, huh? I'm 20. Well, I am, I'm 19 at the moment, but I will be, I'll be 20 very shortly. What I think is this. There's a world of difference between us, you know? Not just chronologically, but uh, emotionally, culturally, physically, every which way. And this world would get much bigger and much worse with every passing week. What <laughs> kind of shit is that? Coffee, not sex. It's coffee. See, look, where I work, the people are very remarkable. They're not like these here Bay Ridge people at all. You mean snobs instead of slobs, right? What? No. Hey, you know, Bay Ridge ain't the worst part of Brooklyn, you know what I'm talking? I mean, you know, ain't like a hellhole in there. <laughs> yeah, well, it ain't Manhattan. It is a Manhattan. You got no idea how it changes, you know? Just right over there, right across the river. Everything is different, completely different. It's beautiful, it's just beautiful. People are beautiful, offices are beautiful, secretaries, you know, they all shop at uh, Bond with Taylor. Oh, yeah. And, like, the lunch hours are beautiful, too. Like, you know, they'll give you, like, a... Uh, Two hours for lunch, you do something that's related. Oh, yeah? Like, uh, we've seen Zeffirelli's Romeo and Juliet. Oh, yeah, Romeo and Juliet, yeah? I read that in high school. That's, uh, that's Shakespeare, right? No, it's uh, Zeffirelli, the director of the movie. You know, the movie, uh, film. Yeah. You know what I never understood about uh, that, that, that Romeo and Juliet? I never understood why Romeo he took the, the poison so quick, you know? I, I feel like he could have waited or something. Well, that's the way they took the poison in those days. Hey, you're gonna eat here. Look at the menu. <gasps> no, no, I just have tea. Tea with lemon. I started drinking tea recently, you know? It's really a lot more refined. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All those women executives in my office, they all drink tea with lemon. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and they notice that I do, too. Yeah. I like coffee, you know? I drink coffee. Yeah. Like, I've only been at this agency a really short time, but uh, already I'm functioning in a kind of a public relations capacity, you know, and I fill in for the agents when they're elsewhere. Like, uh, this this week, you know, I had uh, I had business lunches with Eric Clapton at Lakoti Basque and Cat Stevens at Le Madrigal. Oh, far out. Yeah. You heard of those restaurants, huh? No, I, I didn't, I don't know those exact restaurants. I, I know the type. Yeah, but you must have heard of the artists. No, I, no, I don't know, you know, not really. So what'd you say Far Out for, huh? Cause it sounded like Far Out, wasn't it? I mean, oh yeah. We'd like a, a lemon with some tea now, and, and I like a, cheese, a cheeseburger and some coffee. Hey, you know who came in the office the other day? Lawrence Olivier. Who's that? Who's Lawrence Olivier? You don't know who he is? Lawrence Olivier, man, he's the greatest actor in the whole world. Oh, come on, you know who he is. He's the English actor, the one on television that does all those uh, Polaroid commercials. You know, Lawrence Olivier. Oh, oh, him. Oh, he's good. Yeah. He is good. Well, anyway, he comes in the office, right? So I just do a few errands for him. So he goes around, he tells everybody in the entire office, he says, I'm the brightest, I'm the most vivacious thing in the entire office he's seen in years. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do you, do you think that you could get, like, a, a camera from him and, like, a discount? I didn't ask him about a camera. Because you got one already, right? You still have Fox. Okay, look, you enjoying all this stuff I'm telling you. Sure, I think it's good. I think it's, well, it's I just not... think maybe you can't handle hearing about a kind of life that is so completely different than yours. You mean better, don't you? Yes, I mean better. Sure, it's better. I have some ketchup, please. I mean, I'm out of this scene almost completely. You know, this Bay Ridge scene. I'm moving into Manhattan. I'm, I'm getting my own apartment. I'm changing. I'm really changing as a person, and I'm growing. You know what I mean? Nobody has any idea how much I'm growing. Once you go on a diet. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, Liz. I like it. We could dance together. That's it. We could just dance together and uh, nothing more, nothing personal. I don't want you coming on to me. I don't know. Because I don't think guys like you anymore for one thing. You're too young, you haven't got any class, and yeah, I'm sick of jerk off guys ain't got their shit together. Oh, come on, it's easy to get your shit together. All you need is a salad bowl and a potato masher. Get your shit together. Would you have to know what I do? It's not necessary. I'll tell you what I do. I work in a paint store, and I got raised this week. Right, you work yeah. in a paint store, right? Yeah. You probably live with your family, you hang out with your buddies, and on Saturday night you go and you blow it all off 2001, right? That's right. You're a cliche. You're nowhere on your way to no place. What do you got, a fucking stairway to the stars or what? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm taking a course night to the new school. Next semester, I'm going to take two. Now, you, you probably didn't get no college, did you? No, I did not. Well, did you ever think about going to college? No. Not ever? No, Jew. Well, not back then, no. I'm not fucking bugging me about it for. Well, well, why not? Why didn't you ever want oh, to go to college? Oh, Jesus, you did not, No, right? really, tell me, why not? Oh, Jesus not? Christ. I didn't. Thing is, the high get of 2001 is just dancing. It's not, it's not being a best or nothing like that. The you know, thing is that I, I would like to get that high someplace else in my life, you know? Like where? I don't know where. I don't know. Someplace. You see, dancing, it can't last forever. It's, it's a short lived kind of thing. But I'm getting older, you know? And, you know, I feel like, I feel like, you know, so what? I'm getting older. Does that mean like I can't feel that way about nothing left in my life, you know? <laughs> Is that it? Listen, uh, we got a split here. No, I'll walk you the rest of the way. No, I'll meet you at the dance studio, just like we said, OK? Stephanie, I can walk you home. Look, nothing personal, right? Oh, come on, Stephanie, I can walk you. Ah, Jesus Christ. You know, 